finally maxed out. And uh, let's check out the FX ability, 60% chance to gain shield before special. Very nice. So I always said that this is one of the best pieces in the game and uh, I'm gonna show you why. Critical hits gain 50% more power on impact and we have revolvers and we have soul medallion, nothing special at all. And then we have Kung Jin for critical hit chance and Boraicho for even more critical hit chance and hopefully every hit will be critical and we're gonna gain a lot of power from the graceful tread we're gonna be able to stun loop Liu Kang here with no tower epics actually no tower gear at all and only three slots used which means you can use the last slot for potential damage tower damage piece one two one two three one, one, two, three. Easy, simple, effective. And of course, this piece of gear, the graceful tread, does not only work on Liu Kang, you can use it on any character as you wish, and it's gonna be amazing. This extra power generation will make any character insane. Even Assassin Kitana becomes a boss killer. And we also have snare chance on combo enders very good and then we have a chance of shield on incoming special attacks i would say it's a perfect mix of great abilities especially for a armor and uh, in my opinion it's a top two piece of gear maybe even the best ever so what about the shield Let's check it out. I have Jade with some fun gear. And we have 60% chance to gain shield before special attacks. And then we have 30% chance to gain invulnerability before special attacks. And then we have 25% chance to evade. And then she have her own passive. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. All right, I'm gonna tag in Assassin Jade right from the start and uh, invulnerability. He do have a special one ready, but looks like he don't want to use it. Shield break, team curse, invulnerability, very nice. And uh, not sure what he's doing, he tagged out. And we got the shield and evasion. The bleed is actually the biggest problem. Another shield, but another bleed. I'm just gonna stand here and do nothing. Another shield, another evasion. And the bleed is actually killing us right now. I'm just gonna wait for one more special. Another shield, another evasion and tag out and uh, MK11 Jade had this annoying setup movie set star a lot of blind reflections and stuff all right special one evasion just waiting for the cripple to expire special two we got the shield and invulnerability Tag out. Oh, that was nice. Bleed reflected. Stunned. Let's do a special one. Another special one. Invulnerability. We do have brutality set. Maybe I should just tag out. Just to be safe. Another evasion. 
another fire, another stun. Scorpion, another evasion. Alright. Come on, do something. Evasion and shield. Blind resisted. Special 2, evasion again. I'm just having fun with this team, honestly. 60% chance for shield. I think that's awesome. Much better than 25% or 30. It's 60. And uh, special 2 ready. And we got the shield again. And invulnerability. Let's do one more setup. This one we're using MK11 Noob. Only rare pieces, no epics. But still, it's quite insane. We have power and luck on tag in. And we also have Soul Medallion. Power cost reduction and power generation. And pay attention to my power bar. I'm gonna tag in Noob, zero bars of power, one combo. See that? How crazy is that? And then... The shadow comes in, and once they kill the shadow, we will tag in with luck and power again. And frostbite. But, it's okay. No problems at all. Already two bars of power. Already another special two. And we just repeat. Tag in again, all power gone, and frostbite, but no problems. The power generation is so crazy that fire or frostbite does not matter. And uh, I'm gonna block now, and we get the shield. And the shadow, and another special two. Too easy. A few months ago, I made a video about the best tower rare pieces. And uh, the graceful thread is from the crypt, so I did not include it, but it would definitely be top two or even number one. And this one also had potential, but it's a weapon. And uh, usually you want to keep your weapon slots open for tower damage gear, but who knows? I still haven't maxed it out. Anyway, graceful tread, awesome piece, one of the very best. I hope you like this video. Take care, see you next time.